But we, I walked into the restaurant. My spirit was low. I was so sad. I walked into the restaurant to 12 of my friends, about a dozen of my friends. And they pinned a corsage on me. And they said, this is the Goddess Faithful Luncheon in honor of Sherry Lynn. And they gave me a little book. It would be like a guest book for your home. And they each took a page and they wrote me a love note. And they added some scripture that they thought would inspire my heart and lift my spirits. And we just spent two hours laughing and carrying on. I felt so loved that day. And my friend Lynn showed up a few minutes late carrying a sack. And she said that I brought you a hospital ensemble to wear to the hospital. And I knew this was bad the minute she said that. I knew it was a bad thing. So first she opens it up and she presents me with the most hideous hot pink nightie you ever did see. She probably got it at the worst garage sale in Spokane. It was just gross. She holds it up to me with a big grin on her face. And she says, don't worry. I know hot pink clashes with your hair. I have solved that problem. And she pulled out a very long, very bouffant platinum blonde wig. (laughs) I think I saw it on a hooker on the way to the restaurant. I couldn't believe my friend Lynn rolled a hooker and stole her hair. What that girl won't do for friendship. She's wonderful. The next thing she pulled out was a feather boa. (coughs) And the last thing was cow slippers with their tongues hanging out on the floor. (laughs) I was just precious. I was just precious. And they plopped this on my head and put the nightie up to me and put the thing around my neck and put the slippers on me. And we're laughing and carrying on. And we're just having a good time. And there's everybody around is just laughing at us, and and I'm I'm sure they thought it was my birthday. (laughs) Wouldn't they have been so shocked to find out that I had cancer, and my friends were just there to love me and lift my spirits. In fact, when we were or there was a group of businessmen that were there for lunch, and they were kind of watching us and snickering. And one of them came up to me at the restaurant, and he put his hand on my shoulder, and he says, "I can't figure out." your friends really love you or really hate you? (laughs) And then he pats me and says, nice outfit, honey. (laughs) It was such a wonderful day. It really was. It was a divine lunch date. I believe God used his people to lance the boil of fear and dread, extract some of the poison, and fill it with the healing balm of joy. They lifted my heart off the floor. They turned my grieving spirit into dancing. I, they, I, they couldn't change my experience. They wanted to. They so wanted to take the cancer away, but they couldn't. So they chose to take my hand and walk through the experience with me. My situation had not changed, but my spirits were lifted because of my wonderful friends. So naturally, when my husband came home from work, I had to have the ensemble on, hooker wig and all. It was so fun for him to see his wife in a hooker wig and a pink nighty and cow slippers and a feather bowl. <laughs> what a lovely outfit. He, you know, he repeated again as he has many times over the last 36 years, I could never divorce you on grounds of boredom. <laughs> I'm hoping that's a compliment. I'm not quite sure, but I'm hoping. Let's hope for the best. A friend is someone who knows the song in your heart and sings it back to you when you've forgotten how it goes. I love that. A friend is someone who knows the song in your heart and sings it back to you when you've forgotten how it goes. My friends gave me back the song in my heart that day. 